What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, and I produce content for homeowners and up-and-coming heating and air technicians, teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air. And on the day service call, what we're working on is a Goodman GPG gas pack. And the reason I want to show this is this system is bad for having intermittent problems. And I found a unit that had two of the exact same problems within the past week. I've had to call Goodman about it uh, to kind of uh, verify what was going on with it. But I got want you guys to see the service call. So if you run into it in the future, you know what's going on. So guys, I'll see you over at the gas pack. All right, guys, this is the unit here that we're replacing the spark igniter on. This is a GPG style Goodman gas pack. And what's going on with it is... Um, we thought this was a bad, uh, not reversing valve, but a gas valve. Seemed like it was getting voltage to the valve that wasn't opening up. We came back out. We've had to call Goodman on this, this call um, because basically what it was doing is it was sending power to our gas valve, it wasn't igniting, and it was making our, our meters go really, really crazy. What well, we ended up finding out, um, let's turn this thing back on first. Uh, let's start it up. Let's see if we can recreate the problem and uh, I'll explain to you what's going on. So what we're going to do is locked out now. We're going to take our, we're going to push this back in. All right, we take our, our plug off of our gas valve. We go put our meter between common and our, our low side and look at our meter. See how the meter just kind of goes crazy. Every light on it lights up. See, and it goes away once you're getting power. This kind of confused us for a while and uh, we had called Goodman on this because we've already replaced the gas valve before. But what they're telling me is the spark igniter, spark igniter here. When your meter goes crazy like that, it says that the spark igniter uh, ignites at the same time the gas valve is energized. And they said, if that is the case, what the problem is, is on your spark igniter, somewhere on this cabinet, your spark igniter is grounding to your cabinet and it's sending DC and AC voltage to the gas valve. And that's what makes our meter go crazy. So what we're gonna do, uh, we tried putting some some tape on this uh, spark igniter. It didn't seem to work, so I got a new igniter now. We will replace it. We're gonna see if we can get this gas back up and started. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do, we have a quarter inch screw here. We need to remove that to take out our spark igniter. See, here's our spark igniter here. You can see the tape that we tried to put on it. They said to try to move that away from uh, any metal. We tried that, we tried wrapping it in tape. It still doesn't seem to work. And um, so we're going to end up replacing it. And your spark igniter goes back to your circuit board here. Just pull this off. Then all we gotta do is pull this through and we'll start putting on our new igniter. All right, we got the new igniter in. Go ahead and tighten this screw down. I've pulled the wire through. We will hook it up back to our board right here. We wanna make sure this is away from all the, all the metal around the unit. So let's go ahead and move it to here. And let's start this up now and see if our gas valve ignites. Okay, let's go ahead and hook power back in. We'll go ahead around to this furnace. We're gonna uh, jump our R and G on our control board. We'll see if it starts up. Okay, 
Okay, everything started up. Now, what I want to tell you on this is basically uh, we had to, this is two Goodman units that I found this being done on uh, within the last week. And what they're telling me is those crazy readings I was reading on my, my uh, meter when it was calling for my gas valve to kick on. They said that what that is is DC and AC voltage um, actually feeding into my gas valve. And the problem is, they said, is with this spark igniter. So we ended up replacing the spark igniter. And when we did that, everything came on and everything ran fine. So if you guys ever run into an, another Goodman unit that is basically sparking, your gas valve won't ignite, and you can't figure out what's going on, take a reading at your gas valve and and pay attention to what your meter says that it does not just say 24 volts or 240 volts that the meter just goes crazy every like on my meter every light in the meter came on and uh if that's the case uh definitely try replacing the uh spark igniter first it could be the circuit board as well but on this one and on the one that i had before both problems ended up being the spark igniter. So we got everything replaced, everything's working fine. This is the one that kind of two, two units uh, in the past week that's uh, thrown me for a loop and ended up being uh, the spark igniter and that was the whole problem. So guys, I hope you've learned something and if you run into this in the future, you'll know what to do. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.